okay guys i think this is the one top that i have a lot of them in my wardrobe i have the plain i have the pattern i have different colors i am so in love with this top i don't know so okay this is two ways you can be able to achieve this top the first way is um, with your measurement and then the second way is very easy so you guys stick with me to the end of this video and i hope you really like it I said before you need your measurement for the first way so these are the measurements you need so firstly i'll go ahead and find out the wrong side of my fabric yeah i always say this in my video you have to find out the wrong side because that's where you'll be checking your measurements yeah so if you're using a fabric like mine that it is very hard to see just make sure you look well and you will find that out so once you know the wrong side of your fabric you go ahead and fold this fabric into two and then into four just as seen on the video Now I'll place my tape on the beginning of the fabric and chalk the length. I'll take the length of the fabric, 18 inches. Then I'll go ahead and chalk my chest points. The chest point is 8 inches. Or I'll be using 9 inches for this um, top. Then I'll be chalking down my bust point. My bust point is 10 and a half inches. Now I'll go ahead and place the tape on the bust point to take my round bust. Firstly, I'll divide my round bust into four. Yeah, so dividing it into four, I get nine inches. I'll be plusing six inches to this measurement. That means I'm checking down 15 inches on the bust point. Okay, now for my round waist, that will be sitting on the full length. So I'll divide my round waist into four. That gives me seven inches. I'll be plusing four inches to that measurement. That is seven plus four gives me 11 inches. So I'll go ahead and chuck down 11 inches on the full length. So now I'll gradually connect um, from the point where the full length is. I'll connect it to the bust point. That's how where my round bust is sitting. And from there, I'll make a curve like this to the sleeve. That This is me making a sleeve that is going to sit on my round wrists. That's my wrist points. Because when I divide my round wrist by 2, I get 4 inches. I'm trying to make sure what I have here is up to 4 or 5 inches. That's including sewing allowance. Now to create the neck for the top, I'll place my tape and go in by 4 inches for the width of the top. That's for the wideness of this top. I'll go in by 4 inches and I'll indicate that down. And then I'll go down by 1.5 inches. I'll connect both points together and cut it out. That's for the depth and the width. I'll connect them and cut it This is the front piece and the back piece together. I want the front piece to be deeper than the back. So I will take out the back piece. I will take out the back piece. And now on the front piece, I will go down by 2 inches again. Because I want it deeper. So I will go down by 2 inches. And I will connect this to the width already. The one we have already. And then I will cut this out again. The 
Okay, so if you're doing this process with me, sis, and you don't have this result, I think you should go back and retake your step because this is the outcome you're supposed to get, something close to this. So yeah, I'll go ahead now and sew on the side stitches to the sleeve. I'll sew the side stitches together. I have a video that shows you an easy way for you to pipe um, your, the neck of your top with a bias. That is what I'm going to do right now on this top. I'll be piping it with a bias. This is according to the last step guys. I'll go ahead and sew this in by half an inch. And once I am done sewing, I'll use my hemming gun and my hot iron to hem this in again. Because I want the front of the top to be seamless. I don't want any stitches on the front. So I'll hem this with my hemming gum. And that is it for this part of the tutorial. I'll also go ahead and do the same thing on the sleeve too. So I get a seamless front. Yeah guys, so... part of this tutorial guys these are the measurements you need oh wait you don't need any measurements all you have to do is go ahead and fold your fabric into four again just as we did on the first part of this video and then you bring in a top that you have that looks like what you're about to make okay so this is the closest i have to the style i'll fold this into two and place on my already folded fabric and trace this out and that is it guys <laughs> go ahead and also trace the neckline and um, once I was done tracing the neckline the same thing I did on the first part of this tutorial is the same thing I'll be doing I'll be piping the neckline with a bias and then on the base of the top I'll go ahead and sew this in by half an inch and I'll hem with my hemming gun I'll do that on the sleeves too and that is it for this part of the tutorial guys So do let me know in the comment section below if you find this video helpful both the first and the second way of achieving this top and which of the ways will you be using yeah so while you're at it give this video a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe because there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up guys yeah so thank you guys for watching this video i'll be seeing you guys on my next video bye